So we were multiplying these two polynomials together. We've done it in the grid. So, for example, this has come from timesing the 12x and the 7x together. We've then collected all the terms. There were terms in x to the 6. There weren't any in x to the 5. There were x to the 4, x to the 3, x squared, x's, and the numbers, and we get the whole thing. Okay, next thing. Okay. Just thinking about it, if you multiply together, this one here had order 3, this one here had order 3, what order did we get from the result of that, from the product? Okay, where's that 6 come from? I think sort of thinking in terms of order 3 there, order 3 here, order 6 here. Add them, yes. Okay, add them, that's correct. Okay, so the next thing, can I shift this up the board? Okay. Sometimes you may be asked to sort of do something slightly different. You might be asked to find A and B when you are told that when you multiply, sorry, close bracket there, two polynomials together, they might tell you what the answer is. So, that's 2x. so yeah, so AX plus B, open bracket, sorry, close bracket, open bracket, 2X minus 9, and on the right, and they might say, find what A and B are. And actually, I'm not going to put an equal sign here. I'm going to put a third bar there. Yes, yeah, always the same as. It's equivalent to, yeah. All, identically equal to, sometimes people call it. For all values of x, it will be true. It's not like an equation with only true for one value of x. You could do a grid for that, okay? So, if we do a grid for that, that's one way. We've got ax and b. We've got 2x and negative 9. Now, just think, can we be a little bit smart here and think? Do we need to do all the work? No. Go on, explain why not. One of the two of you. Um, you do, like, to, like, to find out A, you literally just do like, what, 3 times 2, what's 3 times 6? Um, you know, what's what, six? Time, what you times by 3 to make 6, yeah. and then you get Yes, you're saying all the right things, yeah. Over here, if you multiply that one and that one together, that's the only place you're going to get an x squared from. And that's 2a x squared. So you know straight away that 2a and 6 are the same as each other. So a is equal to 3. And what other one then? Could you do something... Bottom, bottom right over here. Okay, b times by minus 9 is minus 9b. That has the only bit you're going to have no x's in. So that bit there must equate to this bit over here. So minus 9b must be equal to minus 36. So b must be equal to 4. four. Okay. So there we go. That's adding, taking which is the same as adding, really, okay. and multiplying. Said on the board as well, I would show you dividing, even though it's not actually necessary, but I still want to show it to you a moment. It will crop up in A-level later on. Uh, as it's not necessary, I'll put this in a separate video clip.